Hi, I'm Kathy, and I am a certified wound care nurse. Let's talk about two types of dead tissue that you are likely to see in some of your patients' wounds. First is slough, which is usually cream or yellow in color and kind of resembles chicken fat. The presence of slough in a wound prevents the formation of new healthy tissue and also provides a breeding ground for bacteria. So in order to promote wound peeling, slough is typically removed from the wound via debridement. Eschar is the other type of dead tissue that you may see in your patient's wound. Eschar is usually black or brown in color, and it can be rubbery or hard. So like slough, Eschar impairs wound healing and is often removed via debridement as well. However, there are situations where we leave it alone. So for example, if we have a patient with peripheral artery disease, meaning they aren't getting adequate blood flow to their extremities, and they have hard, stable, intact eschar on their heel, we are not going to debride that eschar. Because if we did, they don't have adequate blood flow and won't be getting adequate oxygen or nutrients down to the heel, and that can lead to a serious infection.